Hi, Libra. <laughs> Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Libra. The message could be for you. Oh, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, they are listed down below on my uh, on the link to my website. You can subscribe your email on my website. That way you'll always get an email notification for anything, my availability opening up or anything like that. Um, you guys can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also located down below. What was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so um, I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with alchemically over there. So apparently that's what we're taking. <laughs> okay, so um, Shamanama, if you guys do jump over there, just know that occasionally I get scammers. It's just a thing. And if you get like a follow request from an account posing to be me, you can always check the description box down below for all of my social media links. They'll always be available for you to go back to for reference. So um, I will never DM you for personal readings, money or donations of any kind. So please block and report if anything like that pops up. Okay, my loves. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Libra. I don't know if you're dealing with another earth sign, but King of Pentacles, and I mean, it could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. There you are. <laughs> How appropriate. You're right in the center, trying to get clarity, trying to figure out the truth and balance. Um, King of Pentacles. So uh, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with things like legally, you know, you could be dealing with taxes. Um, you could be dealing with anything kind of about the justice system. So I, I don't know if there's something going on here. Um, so for some of you guys, it, this could be that you're even dealing with your own monetary stuff. So this can be you. And you also could be dealing with another energy that's like this. So you could be dealing with another person who owns their own business. There could be some interactions that are happening there. There could be truth and clarity that's coming out. And you are pretty like, um, every time the justice card comes out, it's like, you're very good at being fair. So I feel as though you're, that's how you're handling a situation is that, and that is so diplomatic <laughs> hilarious of Libra because maybe you are like very aware of cause and effect in a situation and I think another person is too like thinking about long term repercussions of what's said or the next actions so justice is like making sure that you're in a place of balance before you do things before because yeah it could cause some extremes here and then look at the higher font even why am i getting with the higher font like legit hr <laughs> that is so funny because look i'm getting this whole thing look at it it's totally about balance justice there was something that was like way out of balance this is, this can also be highlighting power dynamics so the higher font is involving some kind of structure see the pillars so it could be involving ethics and morality, conformity, tradition, approval. <laughs> this is so typical Libra. And you have, there's Taurus, which I know might not matter, but you share Venus with Taurus. So I feel like what could be happening is that, yeah, there could have been something here about ethics that were involved. You know, like... There could be an energy that you're dealing with that just the hierophant is like a very traditional way of doing things. And there might be something here where you're feeling as though how something is structured is not fair and balanced. Like if that ethics and morality came into play, it might be that you are you're either being given advice by someone or you are offering advice on like how to approach a situation because it feels as though something's coming up with getting justice 
you know? And I wonder if something was kind of out of balance and you could be approaching the situation or like making sure that because you're about fairness, Libra, <laughs> right? Like you want, I want the truth, you know? A few good men type of situation. So let's see. I do feel like you're being fair, you know, when it comes to handling the situation. Yeah, look at that. No wonder. So you have the five of swords. That is a power struggle that can be mind games, gaslighting. So something came in and I think what some of you guys also could be dealing with situations. I don't know if this applies, but if you're dealing with some masculine energies that aren't handling you not playing into their like dynamic, if because the higher font Here's what's fascinating. Here's what I think happened. See the shadow side? So you have um, greed, bitter, unfair, corruption, and overindulgence. That's the shadow side of the King of Pentacles, unfortunately. So if you felt as though someone did something that was... You knew, you saw it, but they, wouldn't, they won't acknowledge this. And it makes sense. Like, it's like a, it, it, you, when you're dealing with the shadow side of the King of Pentacles, they're probably in some form of psychological trauma. So when it comes to, they're like a little boy that got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. So if you're dealing with an energy like that, then it could be that, yeah, this person, I mean, that makes sense. This person probably is filled with shame especially if you're approaching the situation. So I'm just going to let you know that that's probably what will play out. And it, it's really tricky handling this because like if you are a feminine energy, whatever that means, or you're just like a little bit more of a, yeah, feminine, more than like alpha masculine, it could be that like someone could have tried to overpower you for whatever and you're not playing into that because that's the higher font it's unconventional thinking like you might not play into that whole paradigm you know maybe because like yeah you're pro protecting your own boundaries your own health your own like your own mind that's why the gaslighting is so huge because like you're protecting like your reality so here's the knight of wands I want to make you kind of cautious of impulsivity in this whole thing because I feel like there might be moments where you have an initial wanting to call something out, but here you are. I feel as though you're getting control over that because you do have the king of swords, which I, I think is you. So, oh, this is a player. Oh, <laughs> see, this is when it changes up. So... I think that's what you were dealing with. You could have been dealing with, look, players are just knight of wands. So what's tricky about this energy is this person is either extremely attractive or very charismatic. And there's another energy or entity that benefits from that, from their charisma. That's why I was saying if this is invol at all involving money or business, this person brings in like... Maybe they bring in revenue from their, you know, from those skills. And it's not to say they're bad. The only reason why it turns bad is if you're in a power dynamic with this person. And especially what the biggest challenge for you is if you are coming forward with some form of power, which I do want to say is you, Libra, that you're, um, maybe you have a sense of power in your communications. Like you might have an influence through your communications, that's showing that this person maybe felt, <sighs> dang, their ego didn't like it. We'll just put it simply like that. Could have felt maybe some form of jealousy or it's just some, they, they switched into a different frame of mind. We'll just keep it simple like that. But you have the death card. There's the power dynamic. That's also the Pluto retrograde. Now, what's tricky about this, and that's why I would kind of 
encourage you to take this approach, King of Swords. See how you're kind of like zenned out through the whole situation? Because I almost feel like there could be... Look out for any type of reaction or what is it? Retaliatory abuse. Like especially if you're approaching the situation and wanting to call out any kind of behavior. You want to make sure you're on top of your game and that your mind is solid. Because I feel as though that, like this is going to be tricky. The, the Pluto energy is totally a power struggle. So... And what's really unfortunate about this is some of it could be a bit karmic. You know, if you dealt with any energies like that, it's not to say you're a bad person or you deserve this. It's not anything like that. It's just that these are some of the dynamics that we're dealing with in this day and age. So we have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Ace of Cups. This is good. <laughs> okay. We've got good news. Because even though this might be super frustrating anytime but Pluto is pushing you to transform that's probably the most uncomfortable truth about this whole dynamic is that most of these people not most all I mean they're not it's not a coincidence that you're dealing with these energies because they're pushing you toward a transformation and these moments where you feel like giving up this is going to push you and challenge you and you might want to like oh it's but it's this moment you're so close to some kind of transformation and there's the breakthrough where you're gonna feel this new emotional rebirth like this is this is what makes it all worth it Libra and I think that you know it because you could have tasted this at some time in your life, but things got really tricky for you and you got pulled into a lot of karmic situations that were just, you know, trying to figure it out. That death card is a lot of psychological stuff. It's your psyche that you're dealing with, you know? So it feels as though you're really close to some kind of a breakthrough in your emotional state. And that might be even the most uncomfortable part about this. It's saying like pretty much um, take a look at all the, the aspects of your life that are in or out of balance because your card came in front and center, <laughs> right? And there are people that are coming in and reflecting your balance in some way. So, if you're struggling with moderation and, you know, keeping things balanced in an area of your life, oh, that will be highlighted big time because you're going to want to be as balanced and stable because anything like that will cause you to, like, come out of the King of Swords, which the King of Swords is maturity, right? And, and being unfazed by any type of, these are knee-jerk reactions. Like, it's spontaneous, it's fiery, and because this person is going through this inner struggle as well, and you're gonna have to, um, even though at times it might feel like, ah, oh, you know that feeling where you, you, sometimes you just feel this intensity that builds up and that is, that's what I was saying, that it's pushing you towards your transformation in a specific way. So meditation, keep your mind strong. See, what did I say? There's an emperor here. Ah, so you might want to, look at this. You have the four of swords and the emperor, and then you have this queen of cups and the sun card. That's beautiful. Um, I almost feel like you might want to also approach the situation with a little bit of, with the Emperor, not this other energy, because it feels as though there's another energy here that's almost representative of a th higher authority. So if this is like a CEO or a father in some way, it might be, Libra, that you might want to cater more with a compassionate and empathic si empathetic side. I feel as though that's going to um, 
I feel something really cute there. Like, almost father-daughter-like. How fascinating. Cater to the emotional side, Libra. It's not to say that you can't speak your truth, but I almost feel as though um, go get in a high vibe mood, the sun card. Whatever you need to do, go spend time in the sun. Do something that makes you super happy happy. Because I feel as though you'll have this soft approach and this emperor <laughs> is guarded. Okay, this person is like, which probably means that they might feel stressed or something. Um, or just taking a break or healing or meditating, something like that. But it feels as though there's going to be a shift and change. So don't, yeah, just take your time. Continue to spend time between interactions before you do anything knee-jerkish. But it feels as though this is going to be, like, continue with your transformation. And keep, yeah, because I feel as though you have a full awareness of, like, what you need to do to change right now for yourself. Like, to come into this new energy. There is a new energy coming in here. Something emotional. I don't know if it's, like, a friend or something. But it feels as though it's, like, that's that breakthrough that's happening. And you might be seeing it take place in your reality. Which is kind of exciting. Seriously. Because it feels as though you're coming out of a pretty long, insane process where you just had to persist, not give up. Every day, whether you felt like it or not, you just keep going at something and boom, there it is. It's actually happening. And you'll see it in your reality. It's a frequency thing, so it will pop up and give you confirmation that you are right on track. Okay? So let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link. I'll see you over there. But Libra, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. And I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.